Okay, so to get started working with PHP, you are going to need a couple of things. The first thing is a local web server, and the second thing is PHP installed and enabled on that web server. Now, you can do this manually, and I'd encourage you at some point or another to go ahead and do this, just so you know how to set things up. But luckily for us, and uh, particularly if we are using a Mac and using OS X, we have a very, very simple solution, a very easy solution to go ahead and do this all for us. And this is a piece of software called MAMP. Now, what this software will do is once you've downloaded and installed it, it will install Apache, it will install PHP, which are the two things that we're going to be using throughout this series. And what it will also do is install MySQL. Now we're not going to be using MySQL, but later on, if you wanted to follow other courses uh, on CodeCourse, then you have this available and ready to go. Okay, so to get started then, the first thing you want to do is download and install MAMP. And once you've done that, you'll find that you'll be able to pull up this window just here. So what's happening here is this where this is where we're going to control everything. So we can start our server, we can stop our server, we can change around our preferences, and we're going to be taking a little look around this. And then in the next part, we're going to be creating our first file, and we're going to talk about text editors and how we actually go ahead and write code and save the files out. So in its uh, normal state, nothing will be started. So our Apache server, which is our web server, is not started and MySQL isn't started. So let's click start servers and all you need to do is wait for this to finish. And once it is finished, we'll take a look at where our files are coming from. So that has started. If you have a new installation of this, you may find that something will open in your browser, but we can manually do this just from here, just so we can see where our files are served from. So let's click this and you can see here we get a MAMP welcome page. Now we're going to ignore this because we're going to be accessing all of our files or at least our web server from localhost and then port 8888. So it's localhost colon and then four eights. Now at the moment we've landed on this and you can see index of slash that basically means we don't have any files in our web directory. So what we're going to do is come back over to our little map control panel. We're going to head over to preferences and under this web server tab, just make sure you're under here. You can see here we have a choice between Apache and Nginx. So just to kind of divert, Nginx is a different web server. There's not really much difference in the way that you're going to use them, but I would recommend just starting out with Apache uh, and you can always explore Nginx later on if you want to. So the document root here is really important. This is where our files are going to be stored. So we're going to be creating PHP files inside of our document root. And then when we access this server in the browser, it will load our files from this document root. So at the moment, or at least when you install this, it should be something like the following. So it should be on your hard drive, inside of applications, inside of MAMP, and then inside of htdocs. So let's go ahead and open this up. And you can see at the moment, we do not have any files within here. So what we're going to be doing in the next part then, now that we have this set up and we can access this in our browser, we're going to be talking about a text editor because we're going to need to download and install a text editor. And we're also going to be creating our first couple of PHP files.